welcome again in this video we are going to solve this question that for any two sets a and b which is true power set of a intersection power set of b is equal to power set of a intersection b or that whole thing with the union so let us first uh, look at the intersection one and let x this x can be any arbitrary set and that x set belong to this power set of A intersection power set of B what what this implies is that X belongs to power set of A and X belongs to power set of B in that case X is a subset of A and x is a subset of b which means that x is a subset of a intersection b and in that case x is going to belong to power set of a intersection b and that what it is power set, power set of a intersection power set of b is actually equal to the power set of a intersection b and here whole thing we can go in reverse also that I mean that if X is a subset of A intersection B then X is going to be the subset of A and X is going to be the subset of B and for each step for if this is true then this is true then this is true and this this is this is and it reverse also if this is true then this is true and since it is this both way equality type of thing we have put this if and only if this the double implication here and it is just true and now let us look at that other thing so now let x belong to power set of a union power set of b which means that x belongs to power set of a or x belongs to power set of b which means that x is a subset of a or x is a subset of b which means that x is a subset of a union b but that has implied that x it belongs to power set of a union b this is not if and only if this is a single if that means if we have this then this is true but if we have this then not necessarily all the time this is going to be true and that we can see with the following example so let a and now let x be equal to 1 and 3 as you can see power set of a and power set of union of b this whole thing is not equal to power set of a union power set of b because it has this element this element does not would not be present if we take these four to union and that's why we have this single implication if x is a subset of a union b then x must belong to that power set of a union b see all these elements belong to this element but if we have that x is a sub x belongs to power set of a union b then like for these type of elements that other way round implication and now is not true and we are done here